Good morning and welcome to today's Digital Reflection. And our verse today is from Matthew chapter 18 and verse 14. It's some words of Jesus and he says this. It's not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones be lost. I wonder if anyone asked you um, if you think of yourself as a law abiding, sensible sort of person or whether you think of yourself as a bit of a rebel. Um, I think I was always quite well behaved and sensible in school, but maybe my teachers saw another side of me because I never did make it to the exalted ranks of prefect. And sheep aren't very renowned for being sensible or well behaved sometimes. And they seem to feature quite a lot in the Bible too. But this verse, it's not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones be lost. This comes at the end of one of the best known stories that Jesus ever told about sheep. A shepherd who looks after a hundred sheep and leaves the rest of the flock when one of them goes missing. And he goes searching for the one animal that's gone while the rest of the flock are counted up and safe in the in the fold. I think if I was that shepherd, I'd be tempted to go to sleep myself and hope I could catch up with my stray in the morning. But not this shepherd. He's more concerned with the welfare of the sheep that's wandered off than with his own comfort. And he sets out in search of it. And when he finds it, he brings it home in high delight. And just in case we miss the point, Jesus underlines it after telling this story. God's like that shepherd, he says. He doesn't want even one of his sheep to be lost. Being found, being sought after, is a deep-seated human desire, I think. And when we're lost, something quite profound inside us is desperate for someone to find us. I think that's true even for the rebels amongst us. We may have drifted away from God because we're so preoccupied or, or hurt, or we're just too angry because we feel that he's let us down in some way. We're the ones God goes searching for, the least, the last and the lost, even when we don't know we're lost. Sheep were common, I suppose, in Jesus' time, probably more numerous than people. Yet this story emphasises that despite that, each single one of them is important and valued. There couldn't be a more graphic picture to show how individually important we are with God and how he has and will go out of his way. To bring us home. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you that your love for us will always seek us out, search us out and bring us home. Today we want to pray especially for our Queen and the Royal Family. Father, thank you for her example and we pray that you would be with our Royal Family this Advent, this Christmas and lead and direct them in all they do. And for those closer to home, people who use our church and our centre, those who walk their dogs, have events in the centre, maybe meet week by week with a particular group. We pray that you would bless them and this Advent and Christmas, show them more and more of your searching, redeeming love. Amen. <laughs>